to my channel. I'm Cobra and I'm at my local pick room to grab some berries for my apple and berry crumble. For the best strawberries you need to look under the leaves. Here's a good one. Now I've got my strawberries. I'm going to head home and make this berry and apple crumble. Now I'm in the kitchen. These are the only ingredients you're going to need. Oats, dates, strawberries, apples, coconut oil and cinnamon. For the first stage, you need your blender and your bowl. Scoop out one cup of oats and put it into your bowl. Scoop out another cup of oats and put it into your blender. Blend until fine. oats into the bowl. Sprinkle some cinnamon into your bowl and mix together. I've warmed up some water and I've poured it into my blender so it just covers the blades. Now I'm going to pour in one cup of pitted dates so they soften. I'm going to wash and thinly slice these apples. Here's a little tip. Squeeze some lemon or lime juice into your baking tray while you're slicing your apples. It'll keep them fresh. Blend your dates into a date paste. Mix the date paste with the strawberries and apple, but you don't have to do strawberries. You can do whatever fruit you prefer. I've heated up five tablespoons of coconut oil and I'm mixing it in with my oats to create the crumble. Carefully sprinkle the crumble over the fruit. I'm going to place this in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes. I don't know how this is going to turn out because I've never had cooked strawberries in my crumble before. And you can have it with custard or ice cream, or you can just have it plain. Let's taste it. 